on this um, slide that you've got that talks about the search warrant draft, do you guys, have you guys released, or will you be releasing the before and after text of the search warrant? Like, do you have as it was before it was edited and then after it was edited? If you recall, the IRS whistleblowers came to us in April. In May and in June, we did the depositions. On June 22nd, we released the 15 hours worth of depositions. And then in July, the Oversight and Accountability Committee had a hearing. And at that hearing, those two IRS whistleblowers testified and was asked numerous questions by Democrat and Republican members of Congress that they were not able to answer because of 6103 authority, a private taxpayer information. The only way that information could be answered is if they would submit that to the Ways and Means Committee and then we would vote to make that public. That's in fact what we did today. We only made public what they gave us from addition from the oversight hearing. So everything of the 700 pages that we released is what the two IRS whistleblowers gave us. And, and does that include the before and after language of this particular search warrant in the 700 pages you guys are releasing? I, I don't know the answer to that. It's 700 pages. Um, I gave you a portion of it. Yes. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Democrats have said that you guys have only spoken to four people who were involved in this seven, eight year case out of 60 people, both IRS, DOJ, FBI that were involved. Do you plan to subpoena or send requests for the rest of the, the individuals that were involved in the Hunter Biden case to get the full picture of what happened? Yeah, great question. Um, three days after we released the whistleblower testimony on June 22nd, we asked for 13 people to come before us. IRS agents, FBI employees, Secret Service. This administration has stalled those requests. We did subpoena four of those that we just recently finished their depositions in the last two weeks. It took us three months to get four people because of how the administration, Joe Biden's administration, is blocking their employees from speaking to Congress. This is probably the first time in the history of Congress that we've seen a special counsel appointed to obstruct a congressional investigation. And that's in fact what we're seeing out of this administration. And secondly, to go back to the timeline of August 2020, will you be asking Bill Barr or anyone from the Trump Justice Department to come in and talk about their time on this case? We have a long list of people that we are trying to come in to answer questions. We're following the facts, and we're going to see where the facts lead us. Can I add something? Yes. Chairman So to your, both your questions on the timeline, I think it's important to remember the U.S. attorney at the time, David Weiss, was put forward by two the two Democrat senators from Delaware. So it was their choice for uh, the U.S. attorney, Mr. Weiss. We would love to talk to Leslie Wolf. If you read through the affidavits from the whistleblowers, they say under oath, Leslie Wolf put a stop to it. She's a career federal prosecutor in Delaware. She has not come forward. We haven't had the ability to talk to her. We'd love for her to go to the Judiciary Committee, be put under oath, and explain why she stopped this investigation at every level. That pinpoints the exact time that you're talking about there, but they have not come forward. They have not been revealing. None of that information has come forth. 